Hello guys, if this is my post thoughts on yesterday's events. Wow, what a shocker. Kika Mantina does an, an upset and knocks out Kid Galahad in six rounds. Wow. I was so wrong in this fight. I was so, so wrong. I knew Tittel Harper would, would, get, would, um, would lose to um, the American chick and I knew um, Manguia would beat Rosado, but this is a, one of the upsets of the year. One upset, massive, massive upset. Cause really, you know, Gahai was winning the fight. Apart from to the fifth round, we got stuck. We got knocked down the first time towards the end of the, of the fifth round. Then they made it back up. They made it to the sixth round. We got knocked out, viciously knocked out. Can cost. You need oxygen. You need doctor assistant help and get back up. Wow, 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 wow. Shot winner champion. He seems that him and um. Just wanted to oscillate him with their opponents and they both paid the price for it. Both paid the price. It was like, like you know, rivals that are going on a similar path and, and get similar results because Josh avoided Galahad and thought that Lara guy got knocked out. And I think, um, same with Gal Galahad took an easy, he thought he took an easy point with Kika Martinez or a veteran, but definitely passed his best and got over 10 defeats. And did not him out in the sixth round. Wow. Is the is the rematch close is the rematch close rematch sorry. I'm working trying to get my words together. Is the rematch close in the contract so he has no choice he has to win the rematch. Because he's one of those fighters that high risk level award so there's no other path to championship level due to a championship belt other than the rematch. Do you think he wins? Um if he can make weight fine, because I think the weight train was a the massive, you know, reason why you lost the fight, especially by knockout. And well done to Mantena, it's been a, a great and one of the best, um, part partly because of him, to, uh, second or the best ever boxer come out of Spain, it's Espanol, Spain. Congratulations, you know, people that was wrong, that doesn't matter. Sometimes you can, you know, pull the upset and, you know, do great for later in your career and you know you might be old but not never obsolete and never count an old dog down and you know got hard to just uh, i think it did if we were you rematch him immediately or you move up to super featherweight because you definitely it's the second time now you struggle to meet that meet you know make for the weight with the reasons fast my thoughts and then jamie agree you know gave us other fight uh, it was all I did but expected. He put a good fight. I thought I think McGree was winning most of the round. I think I gave Rosada maybe two, three rounds at that fight. McGree she needs to fight, you know, Charles next, you know, you know, show him if he's an elite fighter. And um, it was a good fight, a very entertaining fight, you know. They both, you know, went went for the kill, went for, you know, trying to knock each other out. So you're definitely a barnstormer, you know, baller, ball gets, but, you know, Boxer puncher, McGregor the fast skilled, more skilled technician, and was either the, the limited baller or the baller of heart. Very entertaining fight, very entertaining fight. Um, was either it's going, it's never going to be world champion, it's always going to be a gatekeeper. But McGregor, he should go for a child fight, and can he beat him? 50 50, we shall see, we shall see. Overall, good night boxing for Saturday night, good Saturday night boxing, especially that knockout, upset one upsets the year. What's more upset? Guy had losing to um, Martinez or Warrington losing to Lara? I guess Warrington was losing to Lara because Lara was, was a piece of nobody with Martinez, the former world champion, and had some, you know, leverage to him. So it was definitely Lara's more known fighter. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. You take care. Bye now. Till next time.